Why is Johnny Blaze always writing novels for everyone else? Well, he's considered a very good ghost writer. Ha <laughs> ha! Super key issue coming up. Go go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And I have a comic that is all coming all the way from Canada that I cannot wait to share with you. This is a mega key. I'm not sure if it's actually, if you'd consider it a grail or not. I will let you guys decide that. But uh, as always, make sure you wait until the end so you can see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. And if you want to be one, all you have to do is be a subscriber. And if you ask for one, I will put you on the list. Just keep in mind, it may take a while. It may be the very next video. You never know. So it doesn't hurt to ask. So this person packaged this very well. This comes all the way from Canada. So hats off to all of my Canadian peeps out there. This is my second copy of this book. They packaged this really well. And of course, full of tape which you guys know I absolutely love. But one of the main reasons it's packed so well is because I asked them to do that, because I've learned never assume that a seller knows or cares about how a package is sent out. Now, obviously they should, because if the comic gets destroyed because of their own negligence, well, they're the ones that ultimately are responsible for that, but most usually don't think that far ahead. And sometimes we got to remind them. So, um, yeah, they protected us very well. So don't be afraid, and I say it all the time, make sure you ask people, you know, could you please pack it with lots of cardboard? Explain why. Be friendly about it. I mean, don't make it like you're commanding them in a military, you know, kind of style. You just say, listen, I had bad experiences with the post office in the past. I'd like to keep you know, my books from being damaged or destroyed. I'm sure you don't want to have to give money back on a book you're trying to sell for whatever reason. And most people will listen. And obviously the ones that don't, if the book gets destroyed, well, you have it on record that you tried to make the attempt that it was to be mailed a certain way to protect it. So you'll protect yourself. So there are going to be some people that will not listen no matter what. But, I mean, it, that's rare. And as you saw with other videos of mine where boxes got ruined, well, because they packaged it the way I wanted to, it was only the box that got ruined and not the actual comic. So never be afraid to ask. And if they don't do it, I mean, like I said, you can't control what other people do. You can only control what you do. All right. So they taped this very well. They boxed it very well. Uh, they put it. There's a lot to unwrap here, so I will give you a hint. This is a key Silver Age book, and I'm going to just cut this open a little bit so you guys are not watching me for an hour. I apologize. That's the one thing about live unboxings. You never know what's going to happen, so I'll sacrifice this bag and for another one anyway because I always look at them. Okay, so... This is definitely a book I would highly recommend. They put it upside down, but that's all right. But like I said, it looks like it's perfectly fine. It was nice and protected. So before I unveil it, like I said, just make sure you wait until the end to see who's today's subscriber shout out. Uh, also, don't forget to join the cash back program. Uh, the link is in the description, or you could see it in my uh, on my main page under the banner on the bottom right hand corner. If you spend twenty five dollars or more. On any of the websites like Amazon, eBay, things like that, within the first 90 days, you get $10 cash back. So definitely sign up for it. It's free to do, and I recommend it to everybody. So this is definitely a book to get, and I'm glad to add the second one to my collection. And this is Fantastic Four issue. I'm sorry, why am I saying Fantastic Four? It's Avengers number four, and you don't get to see it because, of course, my cat comes out of nowhere, always wants to be in the picture. So this is the first Silver Age appearance of Captain America. 
And this is a lower grade book. This is probably about a 3.0. You can see there's, I don't know if that's a stain or what that is, but there's some color breaks. Uh, they did say that there's a coupon that was cut out. That's all right. Um, I mean, in a lower grade, those are allowed. But as you can see, I mean, the colors present well. My cat is very excited about this book. But this is definitely an expensive book. Even in lower grades, you're spending $800 for this book and higher. So I would say without checking it, I will, of course, I will have to take it out. And I always recommend to people, make sure you check your books. Don't just assume they are what they say they are. You want to verify. But um, this, like I said, looks about to be about a 3.0. And um, I think it was originally listed for either 600 or 650 And I don't believe it had a buy it now option. But I messaged them and said, would you accept $500 for this book? And they ended up coming back and saying yes. Um, because it was coming from Canada, it's a little bit higher shipping and handling, but still not within, you know, major, you know, high shipping and handling. I paid $20 to get it shipped from Canada. It actually came pretty quick. I'm very happy about that. Um, usually when it comes from Canada, it usually takes at least a couple of weeks. This came in a matter of days. So very happy about that. So it definitely looks nice. This is not the golden uh, record reprint. The way you can easily tell is you will not see the 12 cent price tag there. That part will be eliminated. Other than that, uh, the front looks almost exactly the same. But it's like anything, you got to research stuff, make sure you know what you're buying. So I will look this up. It's also an earlier appearance of the Submariner. Uh, but um, this book is solely for the Silver Age Captain America. So definitely a book to acquire. Paid $520 total. Uh, I will be getting this one graded eventually. Colors look pretty darn good. Uh, pressing and dry cleaning could clean this up a little bit. Obviously, anything with color breaks, uh, pressing can do. But um, even at a 3.0 to a 3.5, uh, this is definitely not a bad book for the price that I paid. So that is my key book for the day. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you've never seen this book before, I'm glad to be the first person to show it. Uh, this is definitely a book uh, provided what may happen Avengers 4 because there's so many rumors saying about Captain America because his contract is up. Always keep in mind, just because somebody's contract is up doesn't mean they will not renew their contract or do something differently because, you know, spoiler alert for The Walking Dead, you know, everybody was saying that uh, Rick's going to die in an episode and that didn't happen. So a lot of times they do that stuff to gather people's interest because even if somebody's frustrated, they're still going to pay the money to see what happens. So even at the very least to complain about it or say, oh, I was right. And a lot of times it doesn't happen because... Captain America makes a lot of money for them, so it'd be kind of silly for them to just kill off a character and you never see him again. So even if they quote-unquote killed him, remember, ladies and gentlemen of the comic book community, when was the last time you saw any major character who quote-unquote died stay dead? So there may be a little dip if it does happen. That would be a perfect buying opportunity, but this, co this cover is such a classic. I mean, this was a valuable book before... They really got Steve Rogers in the, the MCU. So even if there's a little bit of a dip, don't get discouraged. Don't try and sell all your comics and think, oh, I got to sell before it goes down to $10. That is not going to happen with this book. If it dips, it's going to be temporary. They will bring his character back even if they reboot it. It's too good of a franchise to just let it disappear. They may sit on it for a little while and go in other directions, but I just can't see something that iconic and that much of a moneymaker for them disappearing forever. So keep that in mind. You're dealing with corporations that like making money. And they like making money with sure bets. That's why you see companies basically doing the same thing that makes them money over and over again until it's just destroyed. It's unfortunate for us that love it, but it's the reality of how businesses work. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I always appreciate your viewership. I absolutely appreciate your subscriptions and if you're kind enough to give it a thumbs up that shows support and don't forget it's not you it's not i it's we love comics wait until the end make sure you acknowledge who's the surprise subscriber shout out show them the love and doesn't it look like steve rogers is about to sing for you uh...
Hey everybody, thanks for watching my video. If you'd like to connect with me on Facebook, you can click right here. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, you could click right here. If you'd like to get 2% cash back on your comic book purchases off of eBay, you can click here. If you want to hit subscribe and join the channel, we'd love for you to click here. Now, on to the surprise subscriber shout-out. Enjoy!